eventually we'll get the Benedict book and it'll be like omnisexual orgies every it week. Better be hella sexy. I mean, like this show is already very much a bodice ripper, but yeah, Benedict, I want actual swinging from the chandeliers. Got a quick little news for you today. We've got some box office and some Bridgerton news. But first, our movie house shout out of the week goes to the Grand Cinema in Tacoma, Washington. When we asked you guys, we put out a call saying, hey, let us know about your theaters that you love. The Grand is one that got some mentions. And so we were thrilled to learn about them and the great work that they are doing up there. They just celebrated 25 years nice. as a uh, nonprofit film hub up there. Um, they show a variety of stuff. They show art house films like they're going to have Men this weekend and Downton Abbey, but then they're also going to do Top Gun Maverick next week. Yeah, but then they also do a really cool thing called their Weird Elephant series where they show like midnights of everything from Inland Empire and Swiss Army Man and... Okay. The Princess Bride, like a random array of stuff, um, like cool retro things and, and weird things. Um, they do a film camp where they teach kids how to make movies. Oh, nice. Yeah, they do an outdoor film series and they try to go to parts of town where folks might be disadvantaged and you know give free family movies in the outdoors. Um, cool. They do the Tacoma Film Festival and um, just cool stuff in general. So thank nice. you to the fine folks at The Grand. And like all these theaters we've been talking about, they're kind enough to post about us on their social media and website so that everyone can learn about all these wonderful places that we are talking about. More eyeballs, we get more eyeballs and we want to tell the world and let folks yes. know to get back to the movies. So yes, go and see places like the Grand Cinema. Thank you. All right, so we've got some box office news for you. Firestarter tanked like non-starter no, right like it, it was it, it, yes or jokingly your, your your line was failure to ignite but truly that <laughs> it happened either you know because it was streaming if you didn't have to go see it in the theater or maybe just because it was terrible it's at like 12 percent on the tomato meter but it only made 3.8 million dollars in its opening weekend yeah i think that we're going to start seeing that you know all the studios having their own streaming platforms they're going to use those in a variety of ways, but I think one of them is going to be the cut and run, uh, yeah. you know, where like they, they, because yeah, they, they knew this was not going to do well, that it, the, I'm sure the word of mouth was terrible, that they knew the reviews were going to be bad. And so now they can go, Oh, well, yes, the numbers were low because we premiered it on Peacock. You yeah. should have a Peacock subscription, you know, but I think like if we look back to the last Halloween movie uh, that also went day and date. And I think it, it, fared better in theaters yeah i mean next weekend this weekend and next weekend are going to be really big for some upcoming movies because we've got um we've got men and downton abbey this week we've got top gun and bob's burgers next week so it's all coming but this was sort of quiet because even dr strange had a giant second week drop it dropped 67 yeah. percent. i mean it's still a ridiculous amount of money it still has made 688 million dollars globally i mean it's yeah. not a failure but it's not it's a bigger second week drop than most of the recent marvel movies are absolutely yeah and again i think that's been met with some mixed word of mouth but yeah it's not like it's not going to be profitable and not going to spawn, you know, the rest of the MCU. So, I mean, they, they're, they're not going anywhere just yet. Um, but I, I think this, the, the thing that, you know, I, I'm not a, a, an obsessive box office watcher. I do read Scott Mendelson and Forbes. I think he's really entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the sustained performance of everything everywhere all at once, I think has really been the sleeper mm -hmm. story of the spring um, where it's weekend to weekend drops are real low and it's very close to becoming a 24's uh, highest grossing movie ever. And it's been playing in a lot of the theaters that we have been talking about here. Yep. So it's ho hopefully helping keep them, you know, crowded and, and busy. Um, For sure. Brid Bridgerton season three. Now this, I believe was, maybe hinted at or there was just a rumor but now Nicola Coughlin who plays Penelope has confirmed that season three will focus on the Colin and Penelope storyline which deviates from the book order I guess right. Benedict is the next book I have not read the books I think the whole Colin and Penelope thing is super boring I, I find her interesting and now that she's like pissed she'll go on on a, on a tear but eh. well that's the thing she's clever and he's kind of thick <laughs> so on the one hand, you're sort of thinking like, honey, you could do better. And then also it's sort of like, how is this going to work out in a way that is satisfying? Like she's, he's either got to get a lot less dumb or 
she has to buck up and move on for this to be satisfying right because as is it's like she is way out of his league mentally and spiritually right well she needs to feel good about herself right she needs to get some self-esteem for herself sure, as sure. a young woman to realize like oh i can do better than this or i can be by myself and not pine for somebody who is like vaguely attractive and dull <laughs> I mean, look, there is the appeal of marrying into the the Bridgertons, you know, like she and and you know Daphne or not Daphne, uh, um, Eloise. Eloise, you know, could be sisters forever, you know. Mm -hmm. So like, I get there, there's a there there there's there are perks involved, but yeah, it's still at the end of the day, it's Colin, you know. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Eventually, we'll get the Benedict book, and it'll be like omnisexual orgies every it week better be hella sexy i mean like this show is already very much a bodice ripper but yeah benedict i want actual swinging from the chandeliers saturday night live did you watch their cold open this past weekend uh no i have not seen this week's episode yet. okay so they did a johnny depp and amber heard trial thing oh. and it was perilously unfunny it oh, was dear. so not funny i did not laugh a single time and basically the whole thrust of it was like oh there's poop in the bed who did it and various Ugh. people who work for Johnny Depp walking in and going, yeah, I'm not cleaning that up. Oh, that's who pooped here. Like this, the, uh, that was the thing they decided to hang a hat on. Great. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Way to keep it cutting edge, SNL. Indeed, that trial continuing this week. Amber Heard is testifying this week. But um, Jerry Bruckheimer, in the meantime, has said that Johnny Depp will not come back as Captain Jack Sparrow, quote, at this point. Although... Johnny Depp himself is like, I'm not going to go back and be Jack Sparrow for these assholes at Disney again. So uh, he's yeah, already slammed I mean, that door shut. Uh, it, yeah, it already, I don't, it, <laughs> you can't fire me, I quit. Yeah, it, much, it sort of yeah. seems like that that pirate ship has sailed, if you will. Um, <laughs> Jerry Breckheimer, did you see also his, his reply to the question about the Taiwanese flag on Tom Cruise's jacket? Oh, no. He was like, I don't think about that. Just enjoy the movie. I mean, literally, it was this whole quote of like, eh, that's it. Don't need to worry about that. It's fun. Have a good time. You know, he's enjoyed that it takes place in this unnamed snowy mountainous country that has uranium. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. No, I in my review at the wrap. I said this is not a movie that rewards thinking. So, you know, he's just keeping that flame alive. Yes, we will have a Top Gun Maverick review for you next week for yes. sure. Uh, I have a bit of sad news, and that is that Britney Spears announced on Instagram that she has had a miscarriage. Oh. Yes, she and um, Sam Asgardi were very happy to announce they were going to have a baby together. And um, she even said in this Instagram post, like, perhaps we announced it too soon. Um, we were just so excited to tell the world. And, you know, mm. there is a theory that you, you hang on to that info for a certain amount End of time. End of the first trimester, right? Yeah, just to be safe. Yeah. Um, so uh, so that is sad. But she uh, oh, well. she is still posting right. a whole lot on uh, on Instagram. And then Adele Hanel, goddess actress that she mm. is from Portrait of a Lady on Fire, says she is leaving acting. She's leaving the film industry because it is, and I quote, reactionary, racist, and patriarchal. She's not wrong. I mean, I get it. I think you either have to like contend with a lot of shit or just decide, nope, I, there are other sandboxes I can play in. And so if she can find rewarding work in the theater or in other venues that that respect her talent and that are less, you know, sort of toxic for her to deal with on a daily basis, more power to her. She is great and talented and yeah. can write her own ticket. So, you know, yeah. let's see what that looks like. And it has an incredible presence that hopefully she will bring back to the screen one of these days. Hatching, which is the movie that we reviewed a couple of weeks back, is going to be out on streaming and VOD starting today, this yes. Tuesday. And so you can go watch it and squirm from the comfort of your own couch <laughs> watching Hatching, and you should. Also, uh, I've been getting a lot of press releases about this. The uh, the the film RRR, which mm -hmm. has been uh, everybody I know who's seen it has been raving about it. It's getting a one night only return to U.S. theaters on June first. I just bought my ticket. Oh, cool! Uh, I I'm delayed on this, but I I need to catch up and see it because I've heard nothing but great stuff. So uh, look online. Uh, theaters near you on June first may well be showing it. Yeah, come back. Give us a full report, will you? Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> 